how do we find this normal? What's health? You know, you could say, well, that's lack of symptoms. Really, if I drop a brick on your foot and you don't feel it, isn't that peripheral neuropathy or, or some diabetic neuropathy? You know, you're supposed to feel pain. So this guy, Claude Bernard, brilliant guy, if you get a chance to look him up, he, was, he started to talk about how we shouldn't focus on normal values. How many times you get a patient in there that says, you know, man, my, my doctor says my blood pressure was great. My doctor says my blood pressure sucked. You know, I mean, so what, what's normal? Claude Bernard, and you're talking to the 1800s, was saying that these normal values, are, you shouldn't really focus in on it because they're always changing. So what's a normal blood pressure? How do you answer that, doctors? I know, you were going to say 120 over 80, weren't you? I know, I know. Because that's what they tell you. Okay, but that was in 1994. See, there's a joint national committee, and they meet about every 10 years, and it's uh, medical professionals, doctors, and pharmaceutical reps that get together. And yes, I know the body is self-healing and regulating, except when they say it's not. So in 1994, it was 120 over 80. That's normal. If you're higher than that, then they're going to give you a chemical to lower it. Well, that went cool until 2004. Then they thought, you know, let's just lower it down to 115 over 75. Now, you're slowing the heart down. Okay, you slow the heart down. Do you think that helps oxygen brain or, or, or harms it? Number of studies in Canada that shows out that as soon as people get put on diuretics or beta blockers, they pass out, fall down, hit their head, and stroke out. So, so it turns out that the body needs oxygen, that the brain is, uh, blood flow to the brain is important. No, don't say duh. <laughs> So pre-hypertension was the old normal. Then, Joint National Committee 8, and they, they call it new evidence-based guidelines. That's right. And I thought JNC7 was new and informative. No. Now this is brand new. And they say, okay, now it's more evidence-based. It's still messed up. I mean, if you're over 60, 150 over 90, what's normal? Okay, if you can see from this that there isn't a normal, Normal, standing in front of your colleagues who you love, my blood pressure is going to be higher. When I'm sitting down with my sweetheart kissing her, my blood pressure is going to be really high. Okay, so, so it's going to adapt all the time. Your blood pressure, 100% of the time, is always accurate. It's always appropriate given that environmental stimulus. If you're, if you're drinking a bunch of coffee, no water, blood gets thicker, it's going to be higher. You drink a lot of water, you relax, it's going to be lower. So blood pressure is always appropriate based on the stimuli or the environmental adaptation. Let's say you're living in that environment where, no, I'm smarter than your body. Let's give you a calcium channel blocker or ACE inhibitor or diuretic. According to the American Journal of Cardiology, it turns out that if you get a chemical to lower your blood pressure, that's a calcium channel blocker, you increase heart failure. Which, I mean, if you're a Klingon, it's no big deal. You got two hearts. It's not a, you know, but if you're human, you only got one. So wait a second. I thought that the doctor was going to give me a chemical to lower my blood pressure so I'd live longer. No, it damages the heart. What about a diuretic? Oh, this makes sense. It damages the kidney and increases death. Death is hard. Like the McPhees will tell you, you know, only two people recovered from it. One had help, you know, Lazarus, but... So when we look at this, what, what do you tell your patients that come in? How do you open up a conversation when they're living in that delusional world? Well, tell them about this study. Okay, it turns out that for every time you take one blood pressure drug, anytime you take a chemical that's smarter than your body based on arrogance and ignorance, that your risk of stroke increases 37%. However, if you're on three blood pressure drugs, you have a 248% increased risk of stroke but wait a second, doctor, I thought that that was going to help me prevent stroke. Well, actually, we want to really raise the issue that despite great advances in pharmaceutical approach, relying on this approach is going to come at a dear price of people's lives. Wow. <laughs>